What is up? This is Ron Smith with the Van Buren High School Marching Band. We just came off a big win last weekend at the Cabin Invitational Marching Championship, and you are watching Pointer Pack News. Teachers, we wanted to start off by saying that we're going to try to keep these episodes around 10 minutes, at least less than 12 minutes. We know it's a lot of time to take out of your classes on Friday, but just know we appreciate it. If we ever run long, just know that extras like student submissions, bloopers, and weird specials will always be at the end of the episode. To those of you who watch each week, thank you. We feel your love and support. Last week was Spirit Week here at VVHS, and here are the winners for the best dressed each day. Western Wednesday was Avery Salisbury. Arkansas-themed Thursday was Grayson Burgett. For Friday Color Wars was again senior Avery Salisbury. That's dedication. I mean, the man was wearing a sheet. Here's a running October calendar, October 13th. Picture retakes for all grades and first day of parent-teacher conferences from 3 to 6 p.m. Don't forget, we'll be out on early release schedules for both of these days. October 16th, we're out of school. We do have a home game, though. Go dogs! October 20th, VBHS Flu Shot Clinic, open to only students and teachers. October 24th, the ACT. Good luck, guys! Congratulations to the new leadership of the VBHS Teenage Republicans. Chairman Caleb Ferguson and Senior Co-Chairman Nicole Cope. Junior Co-Chairman Colton Nichols and Sophomore Co-Chairman Hadley Hurst. We have a few shout-outs this week going out to our most loyal fans. At VBHS, Ms. Fisher, Ms. Burton, Ms. Seeger, Ms. Hurst, and Mr. Will. Thank you so much for your feedback. To the community fans, Mr. Ty Radley for being our number one fan in our YouTube comment section. Our last shout-out goes out to Sean Kipps Graney, just because. The yearbook is now on sale. Books may be purchased in Miss Moose's room in S211 or online at foreveryearbook.com. The cost is $45. Last year we ran out of books, so be sure to order early. Don't forget we offer a split payment plan, $25 or $20 for each semester. Hey guys, it's Randy Miller back here with some more Pointer Pack News and Weather. Hope you're having a good Friday out there. Although the uh, sun is not completely out, we are seeing some comfortable temperatures in the mid-70s. Good luck to the Pointers tonight as they make the trek up to Mountain Home to play the Mountain Home Bombers. Not sure what kind of name that is. But anyways, as we look at the game time temperatures, we are going to be seeing temperatures around the 70 degree mark. So should be good weather for football. As we look at the weekend weather, the sun is going to return and we are actually going to be seeing temperatures in the 80s. So I would encourage y'all to get out there and maybe hit up a pumpkin patch or, of course, hit up a park. As we look ahead to next week's weather, our high temperatures are going to be staying mostly in the 70s, so it's going to be a lot more fall-like outside. By the end of the week, our high temperatures could even be in the upper 60s, so it's going to be a great week next week. As we look at the world weather picture, Hurricane Delta slammed into Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, and it will head for the United States Gulf Coast. Hurricane Delta making landfall today will mark it as the 10th hurricane of the season. 2020, what a crazy year it is. I'm Brandon Miller signing off, and as always, stay kind to one another. I'm Saner. And I'm Tam, and this is Pointer Pack News Sports. Well, folks, it's that time of the year when school sports are starting to wind down a little bit before the winter season. Volleyball played Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Our pointers have a three-hour road trip up the mountain home today, coming off a huge homecoming win, 42-21 to against Russellville. It was a great game all around, and I can't wait to see what we do today. This last Saturday, Arkansas beat Mississippi State 21-14. to Big win for the Hogs since it was their first SEC win in over two years. Woo pig. Tomorrow, Arkansas plays Auburn. And as always, I'm Sam. And I'm Tanner. Now on to Brandon and Kyle for next week's sports. What's up, you goofy goobers? This is next week's sports coverage. I'm Brandon Miller. And I'm Kyle Roark. Next week, tennis is in the 5A state tournament Monday and Tuesday. Good luck to them. Let's go, baby! Also, volleyball is set to play Alma on Tuesday and Valonia on Thursday. Go dogs! Football is back at home next Friday against Parkview. Let's come out and support our pointers! Go dogs! And this has been next week's sports coverage. Let's keep the energy yeah! up! Since sports are slowing down this week, we're going to touch on the National Leagues. The NBA Finals have started, and the Los Angeles Lakers are playing the Miami Heat. And in the MLB, they have started their second round of the playoffs, and these teams are fighting for the semifinal spot. Go baseball! And next week, Arkansas will be at home playing Ole Miss at 2.30 on ESPN2. My prediction is, 
Them hogs are going to knock them land sharks out the water. In U.S. news, last week the president was hospitalized due to the coronavirus. Before that, the first presidential debate happened last week, and we've got a few requests to cover it. I have a few words to say about the presidential debate last week. It was awful. Both sides were misleading, needed more information, and lacking context. There are lots of websites you can go to fact check anything that the both sides said. But be careful though, some of those fact checkers can be very politically charged. I'm Kyle. And I'm Sam. And we're covering the presidential debate. Speaking of, Kyle celebrated his 18th birthday Monday. You can vote now. Give me some. Our next presidential debates are going to be on October 15th and October 22nd. And you can watch them at 8pm to 9.30pm. It has been said that there will be changes to these debates to make it less chaotic and easier to watch. One possibility that might happen is the moderator would cut off a mic so when the other person is speaking, the other person wouldn't interrupt. Other than that, we'd rather not get into the debate itself. For local news in Ozark last week, a woman was arrested for setting fire to a stolen camper and threatened to blow it up, according to police chief Devin Bramlett. After refusing to leave the camper, authorities deployed gas canisters through one of the open windows. The woman used a lighter to set the camper on fire from the inside. Authorities pulled the woman from out of the camper before it erupted in flames. According to Bramlett, no one was hurt. It's been 16 years since Facebook was founded by Mark Zuckerberg in his Harvard dorm room. Fun fact, Zuckerberg is worth $96.3 billion. And remember that movie, The Social Network? In a Q&A in 2014, he said, they just kind of made up a bunch of stuff that I found hurtful. Saturday, the longest alligator was killed, measuring at 13 feet, 11 and a half inches, and weighed 800 pounds. The four men that had killed the alligator reported that it drug their boat around for over two hours. Even with much of the U.S. back open, online sales are still up 40% than they were the year prior. Americans have spent $107 billion more this year than they have last year by this point. Cool news, but don't forget to support local businesses. Since we're on a weird schedule next week, PPN is taking a break to focus on individual projects. We hope you have a good week and happy parent-teacher conferences. See you next time on October 23rd. Thanks for tuning in to episode 58. We try to keep it short and sweet for you this week. And again, don't forget to send your student submissions at VBHS Pointer Pack News on our Instagram. No. Adam Bradley. October 15th, second day. Black. I don't know. I just, uh, Beat the, so the, my girlfriend. I can't talk. <laughs> I can't, I don't know why. Beautiful. Look at that weekend weather. Look at that, I'm just going for more. The sun is not. Is that good, well boy? Good dogs!